My name is Christopher Arbra, and I'm a panthera scientist working on questions on the impact of bushmeat poaching on lions and other big cats in Africa. So the question was recently posed, what is bushmeat poaching? Well, bushmeat poaching is a term for the illegal hunting of wild animals for their meat. Bushmeat poaching is rampant across much of the tropics, including across Africa, where it's considered to be one of the primary threats to the conservation of many species and ecosystems. Wild animals are simply being eaten up. Bushmeat poaching can also occur in what seems like intact habitats. The forests and savannas may be protected within national parks, but the animals which make it their home are being killed off, leaving what has been elegantly described as the empty forest. Bushmeat poaching doesn't only impact species that are killed directly for the meat, but also impacts species like lions, cheetahs, leopards, and other carnivores through the reduction of their available prey. Prey depletion by bushmeat poaching is in fact one of the primary reasons for the decline of lions in Africa. When prey populations are diminished by bushmeat poaching, lions and other carnivore populations become food limited and their populations begin to decline. Food stressed lions may also be forced to turn to livestock in place of wild ungulates, which then creates conflict with farmers, eventually leading to the killing of the lions. In addition to the depletion of prey by bushmeat poaching, it also impacts big cats through direct mortalities as bycatch and snares. Lions and leopards in particular are often killed in wire snares set for ungulates. To these species, bushmeat poaching very much is a double-edged sword. So we know how detrimental bushmeat poaching is to Africa's big cats. And the question is, why does bushmeat poaching occur and what can we do about it? The answer to these is complex. Bushmeat poaching is a wicked problem. People hunt illegally for wild meat for a range of reasons, from commercial poachers seeking huge profits to individuals faced with poverty and food insecurity. Many people poach for bushmeat out of necessity just to feed their families. Meta-analysis shows that bushmeat poaching is very closely linked to external factors such as economic recessions and civil wars and climate change. Even global pandemics like the one we're in now have an impact through travel bans leading to reduced tourism revenues, contributing to local economic recessions and in increased unemployment, and ultimately leaving families hungry. Because of the nature of the drivers of bushmeat, Panthera and other conservation organizations therefore have to approach the bushmeat crisis in a very holistic way. This includes, but is not limited to, law enforcement. And law enforcement, including the capacity building of rangers and community scouts, is necessary to curb the impact of poaching on big cats and other wildlife before it's too late. But at the same time, we must work on addressing the ultimate reasons for poaching in the first place. To this, we must work on developing alternative economic opportunities for communities otherwise reliant on bushmeat poaching for cash. We work on developing and promoting alternative protein for communities reliant on bushmeat for protein, and improved agriculture and food security for communities reliant on bushmeat for basic subsistence. We also focus on improving education, particularly environmental education among disenfranchised communities, and particularly aimed at increasing access to education for girls and young women who previously lacked access. As scientists, we work to provide the scientific and technical input to governments on questions of land use planning, the development of conservation wildlife corridors, and on the impacts of climate change and appropriate mitigation measures. So as you can see, bushmeat poaching is not an easy question. It doesn't have easy answers, but it is an important one and one that we're hard at work at solving. Thank you.